To the latest on the ballistic missile fired by North Korea, the U.S. and South Korea overnight staging drills in response. ABC's Britt Klenet is joining us from Hong Kong with more. Britt, good morning. Good morning, Wit. Well, South Korea says the joint aerial drills demonstrate the Allies' overwhelming defense capabilities and their readiness. Now, according to South Korea's Joint Chief of Staff, the exercises involved at least one U.S. strategic bomber as well as South Korean stealth fighter jets. Earlier on Sunday, North Korea released this video of its test launch of the Hwasong-15 ICBM. Now, they described it as a sudden drill, claiming it confirms their readiness to launch a fatal counterattack against what they call hostile forces. Now, state media are saying the missile flew for nearly 67 minutes for 614 miles at an altitude of roughly 3,500 miles before landing off the coast of Japan. And some threatening words from Kim Jong-un's sister today too. Kim Yo-jong saying that North Korea will watch every movement of the enemy and take powerful, overwhelming counter-action. Now, Pyongyang's latest posturing has prompted strong and swift condemnation from the U.S., and Japan, all ahead of larger annual drills between the U.S. and South Korean militaries next month. Uh, North, Korean, North Korea last tested an ICBM back in November. The missiles are particularly concerning because they have the ability to strike anywhere in the continental United States. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.